Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbeta, and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 9888. This is an unreleased build of Windows 10 which was sent to me via a trustworthy contact earlier today. Uh, trustworthy meaning that everything on screen right now is in fact the real deal. Uh, build 9888 is still technically too early for consumer preview features, meaning everything I wrote about recently regarding the Windows 10 consumer preview, uh, those features are not available in this build. They are supposed to be making an appearance in public, not public, in uh, partner builds in early December. But anyway, uh, if this is 9888 and includes a few changes over 9879. Uh, so let's just dive in, shall we? The first noteworthy change in this build is the uh, the beginning of uh, unified context menus. For those who run Windows 8.1 or the early builds of Windows 10, you'll know that in within the start screen or the one UI environment, thing, uh, the context menus, the right-click menu, is different from that on the desktop. In 9888, uh, right-clicking the taskbar will give you the same style context menu as that within the Mon UI environment. As you can see here, uh, it looks exactly the same as the one seen here. Now this change isn't apparent everywhere just yet. Right-clicking within the File Explorer or within any Win32 application will still reveal the old style uh, context menu. However, it's good to see Microsoft begin changing this. Uh, this is one of the most top requested features in the Windows Feedback app, the unification of the user experience. And and this is it, this is it starting. Uh, with the start menu, of course, everything is starting to align perfectly. Uh, now, the next noteworthy change in this build is the addition of new animations. If we launch some apps, actually, I don't know what I can actually launch. Let's launch the... Uh, hmm. Let's launch something that I'd have to sign into, the weather app. So the weather, uh, di uh, in addition to your standard new uh, animations that were found in 9879, you've got your maximize and demaximize, I suppose you'd call it. So if you maximize a window now, you'll get a sort of zoom effect as you see there. And if you demaximize it, the zoom effect zooms back out. So it's an in and out zoom when maximizing and unmaximizing windows. Uh, this does actually look better if the window's a bit bigger than that, so if we make it a bit larger and do the same, it just zooms in and zooms out instead of popping in and out like it does in 9879. This works with Win32 apps as well, so if I launch File Explorer, again the same style um, pop in and out is available there too. Um, so that's a very nice change I think. Uh, they could improve the animation slightly, but right now in this build considering it's an early build, it's 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 fine. Um, another change in this build is the fact that the PC settings app uh, and the Z PC settings app are gone. It's now called settings and there's only one modern UI settings app. Uh, in a matter of fact, if you actually open the app, it's the Z or the Z PC settings app just uh, renamed as settings. It's now the default modern UI settings app. The PC settings app, as you can see here, the only settings app available is this one. And uh, the only noteworthy change within this app is the fact that there is a search bar. Uh, this search bar works, so if I wanted to search for, I don't know, update, I just search for update, press enter, and it will open the search charm. And I can see all my Windows update settings there. Now, probably the last notable change in this build, which was actually revealed earlier in the week, is that this build is one of the first builds of Windows 10 to be running on NT version 10. Uh, 9879 is NT version 6.4. Uh, for those who don't know the numbering system within Windows, or the NT side of it at least, uh, Windows Vista was version 6 of Windows, technically, because it's what Windows... Windows Vista, Windows as a whole, is based on Windows NT, so NT6 was version 6 of Windows, NT6.1 was Windows 7, but that was only version 6.1. Uh, 6.2 was Windows 8, 6.3 was Windows 8.1, and the beginning of Windows 10 was 6.4. However, it appears they have artificially jumped from 6.4 to 10. Uh, just to unify the whole one core file type, whatever, underneath the underneath of the operating system, so it has the same number across phone, tablet, and PC. So yes, there you have it. That is Windows 10 build 9888. Uh, stick around at WinBeta for more regarding the upcoming consumer preview in January. Uh, we believe that consumer preview features will start hitting internal builds, which are released to partners in this in early december so uh, make sure you stay tuned for that as i am fairly sure that leaks will be happening all over the web and yes so thanks so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one bye bye